Hello boys and girls, Miss Bain here. Today, we're going to be learning the steps for rounding decimal numbers. Rounding the decimal places is exactly like rounding whole numbers. Knowing the decimal places are very important when rounding decimals. Let's do a quick decimal place value review. In a decimal number, we have a decimal point. The places to the left of the decimal point are the ones, tens, hundreds, thousands, and the list goes on. The places to the right of the decimal point are tenths, hundreds, thousands. And again, the list goes on. Decimals are read using the word AND. For example, this number is read as 4 and 18 hundredths. Knowing that, this number is read as 5 and 218 thousands. When reading a decimal number, we read the numbers to the left of the decimal point as we would read any ordinary number. When we get to the decimal point, we say AND, and then we read the number to the right of the decimal point as if we read any ordinary number. The only difference here is we identify the place of the last digit. And in this example, the place of the last digit is the thousandths place. The eight is in the thousandths place. Now the steps for rounding decimal numbers are that as if we were rounding whole numbers. Do you remember our whole number decimal wrap? Let's quickly review. It goes something like this. Find the place value. Circle that digit, move it to the right, and underline it. 0 through 4, the circle stays the same. 5 through 9, add 1 to the game. Now flex your muscles like a hero. Digits to the right change into 0. All the other digits remain the same. Now you're a winner at the rounding game. Using those steps, we should be able to round any number. Let's take a look at this. This number is the number 386 and 971 thousands. And we want to round this number to the nearest hundredths place. Our first step tells us that we find the place value and circle that digit. So. We must circle the number or the digit in the hundredths place. The digit in the hundredths place is the digit 7. Now, move to the right and underline it. The digit to the right of the 7 is the digit 1. The next step tells us 0 through 4 the circle stays the same, 5 through 9 add 1 to the game. The digit 1 is less than 4, so the number in the circle stays the same. Now, flex your muscles like a hero. The digits to the right change into 0. The digit 1 is to the right of our circle, so that digit changes to the digit or the number zero. All the other digits remain the same. Now you're a winner at this rounding game. That means that all of the digits to the left of the circle digit remains the same. Let's try rounding this decimal. This decimal is four and 891 thousandths. And we want to round this to the nearest tenths place. Find the place value 
and circle that digit. Circle the number in the tenths place. The digit in the tenths place is the digit 8. Now, we move to the right and underline it. The digit to the right of the circle digit 8 is the digit 9. Once we would have done that, we now analyze the number 9. If the number is 0 through 4, the circle stays the same. If the number is 5 through 9, we add 1 to the game. The digit 9 is greater than 5, so the number in the circle is increased by 1. When we add 1 to 8, we get the digit 9. Now, the next step tells us that we flex our muscles like a hero. The digits to the right change into 0. The digits 9 and 1 to the right of our circle digit all change into zeros. The last step tells us that all the other digits remain the same. Now where are we not at this rounding game? Remember the steps for rounding. They're the same when rounding whole numbers and decimals. Find the place value. Circle that digit. Move to the right and underline it. 0 through 4. The circle stays the same. 5 through 9. Add 1 to the game. Now flex your muscles. Like a hero, digits to the right change into zero. All the other digits remain the same. Now you're a winner at this rounding game. This video was created by Miss Antonia Bain.